They're lobbying elected leaders. They're gaining more public support. And right behind the walls of the Kravis Center today, they raised more than $300,000 for their cause. This was the scene at lunch, a packed house. Dr. Willie Parker came to share his experience of the effect abortion laws can have on a state. I came to conclude that uh, it's vital and important for women to have this service. Now he helps at one of the last abortion clinics in Mississippi and says he even travels across state lines to treat women who don't have access to that type of care. I decided being from here that if I couldn't provide this care for women, who would? I think that women uh, should their health and well-being should not depend on their zip code. The Sunshine State could become like those bordering places. Two Florida bills would outlaw abortions after 20 weeks and give women 10 years to sue doctors who give them an abortion, which activists say will scare away physicians. I remember the days when abortion was not legal and it didn't stop abortions. It just sent young girls and women into back alleys where they were killed or they were mutilated. U.S. Representative Lois Frankel also attended and says she's working to support women's rights on a federal level, so she hopes the state lawmakers will do the same. Florida lawmakers kick off the legislative session next week, and those two abortion bills are sure to be highly debated, so we'll let you know what happens. Reporting from West Palm Beach, I'm Farron Salee, WPBF 25 News.